This is the Sugar Beet Report, bringing you the latest information from NDSU throughout the sugar beet growing season. The sugar beet root maggot is one guest that is not welcome in sugar beet fields, but this year the maggot infestation may not be as intense as the last few years. Mark Botel, NDSU Extension Entomologist, is here with the latest sugar beet maggot information. Mark, it's officially summer. What's going on with the sugar beet root maggot? Well, populations are being monitored in a collaborative effort between uh, NDSU, American Crystal, and the MINDAC Farmers Cooperative this year, and we're monitoring 128 fields throughout the growing area. We're past peak fly activity in all areas of the valley right now, and peak probably occurred between June 12th and 17th, uh, given various latitudes. And that's actually very similar peaks to the historical averages. It's difficult to define when the actual true peaks occurred this year due to uh, the occurrence of several windy days, windy events, around the time when peaks should have been occurring, according to growing degree day units. That windy and stormy weather also made it difficult for growers to make insecticide applications, so those may not have been timed as optimally as we would have wanted. I'll be looking at fields this fall, uh, doing root injury surveys to build the forecast for this next year, and that should give us a better picture as to how well the uh, control efforts were. But I can pretty confidently say that uh, overall populations this year are significantly lower than those of the past several years. Where are the hot spots this year? The highest activity we've recorded this year has occurred in the Reynolds Auburn, Buxton, Crystal, Crookston, Cavalier, and St. Thomas areas. And then we've had moderately high activity in areas surrounding Ardock, Minto, Hoople, Chirac, which is northeast of East Grand Forks, and then Glendon and Sabin. So what's going on with the root maggot right now? Fly activities are fairly low, have subsided quite a bit, according to what we observed on Wednesday. Larval feeding activity should be in full swing, so in underprotected fields, we should start to see the effects of that, especially in in areas of of the higher injury. Those fields, uh, the plants will begin wilting and uh, unfortunately dying, probably as temperatures warm up in the next week or so. Mark, can this year's problems guide growers in making management decisions for next year? Yes, very much so. This year's hot spots will give us a very good picture as to what to expect next year as far as where those hot spots will be. The forecast for 2025 will be based on our fly activity at levels this year and then the root injury that we'll assess late summer and early fall. I will be presenting that forecast at the Winter Grower Seminars this year. It'll also be posted online in various locations as well as the sugar beet production guide, and I would just urge growers that were affected by high populations this year that they do attend those winter seminars uh, to get the latest information on how to deal with that for next year's battle. So you've got plot tours coming up in a few weeks. What are the details? We're going to tour our uh, St. Thomas plots, and that is going to occur July 23rd. We'll probably have a 10 o'clock start. All that information will be posted online at a later date. Uh, We have nine experiments there on sugar beet root maggot control, and uh, USDA scientists will also be presenting their research. We'll have refreshments, and a free lunch will be served as well after the tour. Mark, how can people get more information and directions to the tours? Details and directions for the tour will be posted on the Sugar Beet Root Maggot Fly Counts webpage. It's very easy to find. If you just use keywords like NDSU, Root Maggot, and Fly Counts, you'll find it. And we'll also be uh, posting that at the American Crystal and Mindac websites. Thanks, Mark. Our guest has been Mark Botel, NDSU Extension Entomologist. This is the Sugar Beet Report, bringing you the latest information from NDSU throughout the sugar beet growing season.